Rising from the Ngong Hills are several springs, key among them being River Mbagadi. As the adage goes, water is life. River Mbagadi is a sure sign of this, with her cool, crystal clear water that is undisturbed. Ondiri Swamp in Kiambu County is the other source of River Nairobi. Water from Ondiri Swamp is what forms the main trunk of the River Nairobi. The birds that include the amazing cranes are to be found here, a sign of an adulterated life that abounds in the swamp. However, human activity has not spared these tributaries of River Nairobi. A few meters from the main forest that protects River Mbagadi are these plots of cabbages and spinach. The farmers here are oblivious of the damage they are causing to the Serene River as they drain the water to irrigate their vegetable gardens. The cleared land is a danger to the survival of the river since the water cycle provided by the trees has been disturbed. At Ondiri Swamp, it is the same scenario. Agricultural activities here could see the whole swamp dry up. Uh, irrigation and farming, uh, basically what they do is to draw the water directly from the swamp. And uh, during the dry spell, you will realize that the water level goes down. Therefore, this impacts negatively on the volume of water downstream. The loggers have not spared the swamp either as they continue to deplete trees. These trees are crucial for maintaining the water cycle as they help to recharge the underground water wells. As the power source continue to visit wanton destruction on the trees, the sprinklers drain water from the swamp. They are sprinkling the water which is prone to evaporation. Most of the water is carried away in form of evaporation. But when you use drip, you are, save, you are using actually less than, uh, say, 10% of what you would have used in the sprinkler. Therefore, we would encourage drip irrigation. It is a worrying trend as on entering the periphery of Kibera slums, River Mbagadi is a stream filled with sludge already. However, it gets startling as the main trunk of the river Nairobi meanders through the city. At the Oboretum, the river is full of raw sewage and garbage. Through Riverside Drive, efforts by yet another group selling flower seedlings is a good effort as the Gabions here help to protect the river bank. But for this street boy, the trees along the river are his main source of firewood and he goes ahead to cut up the pieces. The Michuki Park, named after the late Environment Minister John Michuki, is a landmark in Nairobi. The rehabilitation efforts are in progress here. In fact, before the rehabilitation, the garbage, it's a lot of garbage, almost that at, that at six feet, from bottom up to top, that at six feet. So there's, a, there's a, those people who come from Tanzania, uh, Masai, the one who manages this place for our people here. So the security wise, ilikuwa baya. Security wise ilikuwa baya. Lakini tuliweza kama serikali kufaulu, atoka faulu. From there tukafanya barazas na those people, tukaribarate those pijana, wakani mmoja wae tuwasa tuka employ those guys, those small guys. River conservation is, is partly ecological, partly social, and uh, there are many people who's, who have mandate on river conservation. And uh, we had to involve very many government agencies and even uh, NGOs. So it was a team, we used to call it interministerial team, and uh, UNEP was, partly, was also represented on the team. The environmental degradation downstream is telling from the amount of garbage disposed into the river. The raw sewage from eateries is worrying, as for these people, River Nairobi is also good for ablution, 
and a dumping site as well. The National Environmental Management Authority NEMA sign on this wall happens to be inconsequential. The river is choking with waste and muck. But the director of the Nairobi River Basin Rehabilitation Program, Eric Akosi, is optimistic that the rehabilitation process will be successful as youths get engaged in the activities. We are trying to come up with a committee, which we are calling a River Restor Restoration Committee, and we have some key government agencies which uh, are represented on that committee. We hope that that committee will make us to make uh, the, will enable us to make um, informed decisions it will be a long time coming before meaningful progress is made in ensuring the sustainability of river nairobi the once famed a place of cool waters for earthwatch i'm judith akolo